What's going on folks? I'm about to show you how you can let your window up on a Chevy Impala just in case for some reason your switch or something goes bad on it. It's actually how to let your window up or down. Like say your window was to get stuck up and it won't go down. You can use the same method. Also if your window was down and it won't go up, you can pretty much use the same method to let your window up or down. The first thing that you're going to want to do is actually remove this panel right here. And what that takes is like a little torque bit, like I think it's a T27. And if you look down inside of there, you'll basically have two screws, well two yeah, torque bits that's in there. You could have um, Phillips head screws or something like that if somebody already took it out and replaced it. So the first thing you want to do is just basically just remove these two torque bits right here, or Phillips head screw, whatever you need. And once you get that done, I just want to remove these two screws. I wish you do that. What you want to do next is just pick up on this right here. And what you'll see is this right here pretty much, which is just your, this is actually your connection to where your power is actually going to your switch. So what you want to do basically is disconnect this right here by just squeezing in on this and popping it out. I'm going to do that now. I'm just going to squeeze in and pop that out. Okay, so next what you want to do is just kind of squeeze in on this right here and pull it out like that and that'll come loose. Set that to the side. And this is what you're going to be working on. Once you pull this part out, what you'll see is this piece right here, like the push piece that you pressed in to pop it out, you want to face this piece down. And when you do that, what you'll see is you'll have metal bars that's in these little slots. What you want to do is have the configuration of where you have three metal bars at the bottom and you have four metal bars at the top. So if you can see, there's three pieces of metal at the bottom. One, two, three, and it's a blank spot. And you want to have the four at the top. Now what you want to do, say that your window, you want to let your window back up. So if you want to let your window up, what you're going to want to do is, hold on. If you need your window to be up, you're going to need to have two pieces of wire like this. I basically just took these pieces of wire from out of a uh, old charger or something like that. Just kind of cut the charger and got some pieces of wire. So to let your window up, what you're going to be doing is, you'll see these two metal bars. First of all, make sure that you have your car turned on. You don't have to actually have your engine on. You just want to have the car turn, turn forward to where technically you can let your window up or down. Where basically your radio and stuff like that would be on. So what you want to do is come to, to let your window up, you'll see these first two spots. You want to connect one. You want to push one piece of wire into this first spot and then you put the other piece into the slot right beside it just like that you want to have a configuration like that to where you got one going in here one right next to it then what you want to do is take your other piece of wire and you want to and when I do this you should hear the window go up I'm going to put this one right beside it in this third spot then take this top part and put it in the first spot at the top. And when I do this, the window should go up. See, that let my window go up right there. By hitting that, let my window up. Now, if you want to let your window down, all you have to do is pull this in out of the second slot. Stick it into the third slot, just like that. So now the middle slot's open at the bottom. Then what you want to do is take your other piece of wire, stick it into that middle slot like that, and then take the top piece of wire and put it into the first slot again. All you're going to be using is that first slot at the top. None of the rest of them you're going to be using. And when you take this and stick it into that top spot, it should let the window come down. I'm about to do that now. See? Now that lets your window go down put into that stop top spot made your window go down now once again to make my window go back up I just want to switch this from the third spot 
to the second spot then take this one put this one in the third spot the piece of black one then once again use the top spot over here to let my window go back up see now the window came up all right folks so once again this is the way that you would let your window up or down if you have a chevy impala this happens to be a 2000 year but it's probably the same from about the 2000 up to about the 2005 or 6 or as long as you have this same configuration if you take off your your door of cover and you remove your power switch from your actual um switch if you have this same configuration more likely it's going to work the same on multiple different impala vehicles as well as a lot of different other chevy vehicles also all right folks once again this is how you would let your window up or down if for some reason your switch goes bad Please check out our other videos and please subscribe. Thanks. What's going on, folks? I'm about to show you how you would close your moonroof or open it if it won't work because your switch is bad. The first thing you'll have to do is look at, on this vehicle, it has like this um, actual, I guess it's like the control panel right here. So most of them you'll have a spot in it where you'll have like a screw or something. This one happens to be back here, which takes a Phillips head screw. All right, folks, so I pretty much unloosened the screw on the control panel, which is back here. Uh, next thing that I'm going to do is the screw that came out of here. The next thing I'm going to do is kind of pull. All of them are going to be different, so you got to figure out how to take down your control panel for your moonroof. What I'm going to do is just kind of pull on the front corners of this one, and it makes it snap down. And I have one in the back that I kind of want to pull on to kind of unsnap it like that. And once I have it loose like that, what you'll see now inside of here is this wire right here just basically look where your switch is at and then look directly behind it to whatever wire is plugged onto your switch and then this one is right here so i'm going to be removing this switch all right folks now that i have this wire right here removed what i did was i took my control panel and pretty much just snapped it back in to the front corner because you don't want to have your control panel basically hanging by those thin wires because it could break it. So now that I have this down, this right here is basically what my switch is connected into that's actually controlling my moonroof. So if this switch right here goes bad, it's not going to work right. So the next thing that you want to do is, what I have is like a little piece of wire that I pretty much took off of an old um, phone charger, anything like that I just got. And I'm basically going to be jumping these holes. First thing what you want to do is turn the power on to your vehicle. You don't have to have it to start. Just make it to where basically um, the, the, your lights and stuff come on and all that. Well, basically, if you can control your windows, if the windows in your vehicle go up and down, that means you got power also going to your sun, basically sun slash moon roof. The first thing that you're going to want to do is take these bottom slots all cars will be different but if you're working on a chevy vehicle it'll probably work the same i stuck the wire into for blank blank slot i put it into the slot where it has like a little metal piece on the bottom row then i'm taking the top part of it and i'm gonna stick it into the first hole from this side right here basically from the side coming from the passenger side so i'm starting that so the first hole from the passenger side and the first hole from the passenger side on the top making sure that your little your little um, piece that was snap in to your switch is facing the bottom so now i'm about ready to hit this and it should close the moon roof yeah you see that i'm just holding it if i take it out it stops stick it back in it's closing all right so it's all the way closed and if your moonroof won't open for some reason because the switch is bad, then what you want to do is stick it in the two holes that are side by side. And you'll see it'll open it. Stop. Yeah, see it's opening it now because I stuck in that one. So to close the moonroof, 